Hands raise one after the next. Kids even come inside from recess to learn. The fastest pitch was thrown at 105.8 miles per hour. If you think they're learning about baseball, that would be a good guess. But it goes a bit deeper than that. Ears and eyes perk up in the cafeteria of Creve Hall Elementary School to learn about physics from a visitor in a hot pink baseball shirt. Then to see that, hey, wait, this applies in the real world and even in their own real world. I mean, so many of our kids play baseball and softball and different sports and they can kind of see how that connects. Creve Hall Elementary School principal Hank Skaggs has to get a picture. This party animal player in town to play banana ball baseball against the Savannah Bananas inspires these kids to learn STEM subjects. Just trying to get these kids energized with some STEM. From this room, you wouldn't think the National Science Board reports a sharp decline in STEM performance since COVID-19 and virtual learning. But the board also says students won't choose these subjects unless their interest peaks at a young age. I see myself in these kids and I'm talking to them because I remember myself in eighth grade when I had that wide eye and my coach was first kind of explaining to me how physics and baseball work together, how you really want to hit the ball hard. Party animal player Brawny Ballholm has degrees in physics and aerospace engineering. He teaches the connection between physics and baseball and throws one more big hitter. Talking about catching kindness, um, I'm a catcher in baseball and just kind of bring a little bit more empathy and, and light. In Nashville, Kim Rafferty, News Channel 5.